Holding the vagina because it's comfy and also because we're going to be talking about how to take care of your vagina for just the Tip Tuesday today. Right, Nisha? Right. And I'm holding the poop because that's what she left me. Yeah. And the reason I want to talk about this is because I saw a very disturbing article, I forgot where, about cucumber cleansing. So women are actually cleansing their vaginas with cucumbers, which is just, what the hell? Right, right. I mean, do you stick a cucumber up your nose to cleanse it? Like, <laughs> exactly. Like, no, this is, it's, it's a, I tell my patients it's a self-cleaning oven. Yeah. It doesn't need to be cleansed. It is clean. It has this normal um, flora, this normal microbiota way that we're, there's bacteria that are supposed to be in there. Yep, yep. You know, we always want to say it's supposed to be clean and pristine, but no, it's supposed to have bacteria. There's supposed to be yeast. It's supposed to be in a balance. Yes. And it does get off balance sometimes. And when it gets off balance, then we might have a yeast infection. We might have a bacterial infection. If we put a cucumber in there, we're probably going to get off balance and we're going to yes. have some sort of an infection. <laughs> but for the most part, you're just supposed to leave your vagina and take a shower and really... You just let the water run down. That's exactly You don't it. even use soap so on your vagina. You soap in there. I mean, no. like, people are slinging legs up and, it's and crazy. shoving things down there. Yeah. And, I mean, I've had patients using some of the most bizarre things to do what they think is cleanse their vagina, and it's not at all. And that includes <laughs> douching. You're not you supposed to douche. Douching, I know. Right? One douche of our, bags and douching. We have one of our field trips be to the local pharmacy, the, the store, and we're just going to do a video of you just like <laughs> running down the aisle. And then aisle. security comes. But for the most part, there's really nothing you need to do. Unless you have recurrent infections due to either hormonal disturbances or some immune um, system yeah. issue, issue or something like that. Your vagina is going to take care of itself. Exactly. And if it doesn't, find out from your provider yeah. what to do with it other than sticking a cucumber in it. Or have you heard um, there's these capsules that came out a while ago that are filled with glitter and this gel that's sweet smelling. I've never heard of that. that do you, you can stick it? up in your vagina. This company started developing these, and I don't know if they're still in business or not, but you put it up in your vagina so that your um, vaginal discharge can be glittery. Why does your discharge sweet. need to be glittery? So this and is your the vagina whole, should just have its natural right. This taste is the whole age-old problem of just understanding that our bodies are are beautiful and perfect the way they are, mm -hmm. and we don't need to alter them. Right. When you're putting something in your vagina, that can be harmful. Yeah, it it disrupts the normal flora and it it changes um, your pH, and uh, you could cut yourself. You could introduce different bacteria. Yeah. you know, it's just it's not a good idea. Your PA at Grand Rapids OBGYN. What's the craziest thing you have seen someone come in because they put, um, they did something out of the ordinary to clean their vagina? That would probably hands down have to be the woman who was using Clorox um, and a scouring pad on her vulva. But she's not a bathtub. I do tell patients, don't don't use soap. You don't need soap. No. Nope. I mean, if you if you don't have a, any kind of skin issue and you use soap in your groin, right? That's yeah. not a terrible thing. Right. Um, but to spread the labia and put soap in the inside, you don't want to do that. You can use soap out here mm -hmm. if you want to. Don't go like this. It, that really should not be there. <laughs> and put soap in here. Yeah. Okay? This that this is where it's the self-cleaning oven. This is where if you put some of those, especially some of the harsher soaps and harsher chemicals, you're going to disrupt the pH in there and cause a problem. I have actually found a potato in a vagina. Yeah. For <laughs> sexual pleasure no. or Unfortunately, for... Unfortunately, this was a young girl who... These are some of the old wives' tales, right, that our moms tell us. You want to back... Um, that so her mom told her to put a potato in there because she was bleeding real heavy and it got stuck and I had to take it out for her. And, and what the hell did you use to take it out? Well, yeah, there's, there's, it didn't, it wasn't comfortable for her. And, <sighs> yeah. I'm sorry. To avoid things like this, just leave the vagina just, yeah. alone. Yeah. So I mean, unless you're wearing a tampon or something. You can put in it. Yeah. Oh, how about tampons? So the num the greatest number of tampons I found in a vagina, I think was. For. What? How do you just forget that? People are busy. We're multitasking. <laughs> yes, we have busy lives, and it's some. It's pretty easy to forget that we have. A, I've done it too to forget, like to have a tampon up in there. Is yeah. the string broken? Did the string get caught up in there? Yeah. Um, but to pay attention, it's important. It's an important organ, and this is one of the things that I think we can teach our children. If you put your finger in here and smell, it's going to smell like something. Yeah. If you put your finger in there and smell, it's going to smell like something else. That's what it's supposed to smell like. So just to understand that our bodies are the way they're supposed to be, and and stop body shaming people for having odors that are supposed to be there. If it's, 
odorific. <laughs> <laughs> Probably do something about yeah, it. Yeah. Right? If there's a different odor and it's not right, then yeah. yeah, go see your doctor. But if it's not, if it's just the normal smell, then just yes. leave it be. Yeah. That's the way it's supposed to be. Let's teach our kids that from a young age so that they're not shaming boyfriends or girlfriends for having, or partners for having odors that they may not think is yeah. normal. So I think the just the tip for just the tip Tuesday is pretty self-explanatory. No Leave cucumbers. your vagina alone. No and no cucumbers, well, no potatoes. Don't leave it all alone because it no. can be <laughs> That's not... Come on now. <laughs> I've, I've already been going, I've been going through a drought, so please don't leave it <laughs> don't alone. Don't leave Christine's vagina alone. <laughs> <laughs> this is Damn it. Like this. <laughs> Don't put anything that you might question yeah. in your vagina. Mm-hmm. If you have to question, is this a good idea? Then it's likely not a good idea. Yeah, and as far as cleaning goes, it's already clean. Yeah. That's it. That's right. the bottom line. Right. Like you said, when you shower and the soap falls down, then then you're clean. Yep. You're golden. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Nisha. This was <laughs> this was informative nice and fun. Friendly fun. <laughs>